When you see a stop sign, you should a. Come to a full stop. b. Yield the right of way. c. Prepare to slow down. d. Proceed with caution. Answer, A. At a stop sign, you must come to a complete stop at the marked stop line or, if there is no stop line, before entering the crosswalk or intersection. After stopping, yield the right of way to pedestrians and any cross traffic before proceeding. What does this sign mean? A. Come to a full stop. B. Slow down or stop if necessary. C. Cross the intersection with caution. D. Slowly merge onto a roadway. Answer, B. Yield the right of way simply means letting someone else go first. It is a traffic rule that requires a driver to slow down or stop, if necessary, to allow another vehicle or pedestrian to proceed first. When you yield the right of way, you are essentially giving priority to the other party to continue their movement safely either by allowing them to cross the intersection or merge onto a roadway. Which statement is true about a pennant-shaped sign? A. It indicates a school zone ahead. B. It warns you of a no-passing zone. C. It instructs you to yield the right of way. D. It signifies a railroad crossing ahead. Answer, B. A pennant-shaped sign is a triangular sign that you'll see on the left side of the road. Its purpose is to warn you that you're entering a no-passing zone, which means you're not allowed to overtake or pass other vehicles in this area. Which statement is true about a diamond-shaped sign? A. Stop, yield or do what is shown on the sign. B. Direction, indicates where a place is. C. Road work, temporary traffic control and maintenance warnings. D. Warning, alerts you to special road hazards. Answer, D. A diamond-shaped sign is a warning sign you'll encounter on the road. Its purpose is to alert you to potential hazards or special conditions ahead, such as sharp curves, narrow roads, or pedestrian crossings. These signs often have words or pictures on them to explain the specific reason you need to slow down or be extra cautious while driving in that area. Which sign is posted at the actual location of a railroad crossing? A. A yellow, round sign with a black, X and RR symbol. B. A white, X-shaped sign with the words, Railroad Crossing. C. A red, octagonal sign with the word, Stop. D. A yellow, diamond-shaped sign with a train symbol. Answer, B. The white, X-shaped sign with the words, Railroad Crossing, is also known as a crossbuck sign. It serves as a visual indication that drivers are at a railroad crossing and should exercise caution by slowing down, looking both ways, and listening for approaching trains. Being prepared to stop if necessary is crucial for ensuring road safety near railroad tracks. What do speed limit signs represent, and when should drivers adjust their speed according to the conditions? A. It represents the maximum and minimum speeds allowed, and drivers should adjust their speed during heavy traffic. B. It represents the maximum and minimum speeds allowed, and drivers should adjust their speed during inclement weather or poor visibility. C. It represents the ideal speed for all conditions, and drivers should maintain the same speed at all times. D. It represents suggested speeds for optimal fuel efficiency, and drivers should adjust their speed based on their vehicle's performance. Answer, B. Speed limit signs indicate the maximum or minimum safe speed that is allowed. Maximum speed limits are for ideal driving conditions. Sometimes you must reduce your speed when conditions require it, such as when the roadway is slippery, during rain or snow, or it is difficult to see clearly down the road, during fog. Some high-speed roads have minimum speed limits. If this minimum speed is too fast for you, then you should use another route. What does a divided highway sign signify about the upcoming road conditions? A. The road ahead is split into separate lanes for vehicles and bicycles. 
b. The road ahead has an island or barrier dividing traffic moving in opposite directions. c. The road ahead is temporarily closed for construction or maintenance. d. The road ahead narrows, and drivers must reduce their speed accordingly. Answer, b. Divided highway sign means that the road ahead is separated into two sections by a barrier or island, with each section designated for traffic moving in opposite directions. In simple terms, it means that the oncoming traffic will be on the other side of the divider, and you will not have to worry about facing vehicles head-on in your lane. What does this sign indicate to drivers? A. Uh, traffic is permitted to move only in the direction of the arrow on the sign. B. Drivers must turn in the direction of the arrow at the upcoming intersection. C. The road ahead has a reversible lane and the direction of traffic changes based on the time of day. D. Traffic from both directions must yield to pedestrians crossing the road. Answer A. One-way sign means that traffic on that particular road or street is allowed to move in only one direction, as indicated by the arrow on the sign. You must follow the direction of the arrow and not drive against the flow of traffic. What does this sign mean? A. You made a wrong turn and have entered a lane of oncoming traffic. B. To prevent drivers from entering restricted areas or driving in the wrong direction. C. No passing it is not safe to pass another vehicle. D. All of the above. Answer, B. Do not enter sign is a traffic sign that tells drivers they are not allowed to enter a specific road, area, or ramp. The sign is usually a red square or rectangle with a white horizontal line inside, and the words, do not enter, written in white. You will typically find this sign at exit ramps, crossovers on divided roadways, and one-way roads where entering could cause accidents or disruptions to traffic flow. What does a wrong-way sign indicate? A. Indicates that you have entered a restricted area. B. Indicates that you have taken a wrong turn. C. Indicates that you have missed an important exit. D. Indicates that you are approaching a one-way street. Answer, B. The sign indicates that you have taken a wrong turn and are now driving in the opposite direction of traffic. You should safely and quickly remove your vehicle from the traveled portion of the road and turn around. To be continued. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more videos.